all of my social media networks. I think I'm seeing a little drag here. So um, I'm going to give it a minute. Perfect. Welcome to Sergeant Dorsey Speaks across all my social media platforms here on Facebook Live, YouTube, my subbies, what's up, and ultimately my IG family. Just wanted to come to you guys this morning and just kind of check in, take your temperature, <laughs> make sure everybody is good. Um, I've been busy, as you can tell. New look, new do. I found some new makeup family and um, I've been playing in it all weekend. And so I just thought I would come and share with you today because I'm stuck in the house and I don't have anywhere to go. I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go, so to speak. I am, however, going to uh, do a couple of videos a little bit later because I've got some things that I want to talk to you about in depth. Uh, I'll share with you right now. If you haven't already seen, there's video going around that has to do with some NYPD officers getting really aggressive with some folks uh, who were violating the social distancing order. I've already warned you guys and told you that you can't do what they do. You know, they do. Um, you can't do what they do. And so some of you guys are gonna have to learn the hard way or maybe, you know, maybe this is not the hard way. Maybe this is the easy way because I think probably at the end of the day, you know, there may be a couple of new millionaires in the city of New York. That was outrageous what that officer did. And so I'm going to do a video and I will compare and contrast um, what I saw going on. Oh, hey, Sister Girl Jean. Thanks. You like my new do? I appreciate that. Hey, Ezel, what's up? <laughs> you got a fever, Ezel? Do I need to come over there and take your temperature, sir? You almost, you almost made me say something, Ezel, and I'm glad that I caught myself. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, New York, contempt of cop, clear case of con contempt of cop with that officer and, you know, lots of code talk. So I'll break that video down and I will um, give you my thought on it. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens over there. I I'm already believing that they're kind of trying to minimize and mitigate that bad behavior. And by they, I mean the spokespersons for the uh, NYPD, their new commissioner, um, the officer certainly tried to justify something that was unjustifiable in his use of force and saying that the young man we see on the video took an aggressive stance, a fighting stance. What the hell does that mean? Anyway, I'll talk more about it on my video that I'll ultimately put up here and uh, YouTube subbies. I'll share it with you on YouTube as well. But I just wanted to check in and um, see how everybody was doing and see what was going on and see how you guys are faring. Because listen. Arizona family, if you don't already know, the contagion is on his way to you. He will be there tomorrow reportedly because listen, he has sat on the sidelines for as long as he can. And um, <laughs> he too has cabin fever. He needs those Klan rallies to rejuvenate and revitalize him. And so he's coming out to Arizona tomorrow to infect as many people as he can. Sir, please don't wear your mask. Don't wear a mask. He's trying to decide whether or not he wants to. I say, don't, don't. But for the rest of you, I'd say stay in for a couple of days and let that breeze wash whatever it is he's about to bring into town out of the air before you come back out. Certain other um, cities and states are starting to open slowly. You've seen the video of the young people buying the new tennis shoes. I hope they live long enough to wear and enjoy them. Not really sure they were spending stimulus money. They didn't really look like a lot of income tax filers in that much to me. I'm just saying. So you've heard me say this before, and I believe this to be true, that this uh, virus is going to be around for a long time because of that kind of foolishness. Uh, saw a lot of folks today in Florida on the beach pretending to self-practice um, social distancing. Anyway, whatever works for me. I am so glad. I am so glad. And, you know, it's unfortunate that many of you um, who hear me are, are are adversely affected. But I am so glad personally that I don't have a, a real job. <laughs> I don't have any place that I need to be every day um, because I think you guys are going to be probably staying at home for a little bit longer. And um, it's unfortunate, but we need we need this to happen so that we can finally rid ourselves of this cancer come November. And you already know what I'm talking about. So um, 
do the best that you can to um, keep yourself safe keep your family safe, because at the end of the day, um, you know, all we can control is really what's within our arm's reach. So um, do be safe, family. Just wanted to say hello, wish everyone a great week. Sergeant Dorsey Speaks podcast will drop on Wednesday. I have shifted my um, production day, if you will, for my podcast from Tuesday to Wednesday. So if some of you have been looking for it and you haven't been able to find it Tuesday night is because It goes public on Wednesday now. And then um, I'll be back to you on Thursday. Sergeant Dorsey speaks um, live on Thursday. Don't know what we'll talk about, but I'm planning to see you because I got lots of makeup colors and combinations I want to share with you. I was all goo goo gaga about a month or two ago behind Pat McGrath for my um, beauty buffs. Uh, And then I found out about Juvia's Place. So, um, Pam, I know you're hip on. Pat McGrath. I don't know if you know about Juvia's Place, but anyway, I found Juvia's Place and I have been doing great damage online. I've been ordering from Amazon every 30 minutes <laughs> just because I can. So in the next few days, over the next few days, me and the UPS man are going to have a real special relationship. So as I play with that and find new ways to change my look, I'll come and share it with you. You guys have a great, great rest of your day. Oh yeah, Jean, you you said, yeah, retirement, girl, girl, I am so glad. Oh, we, because it's a mess. I, I will say this, Jean, I got up and went to the grocery store today and, you know, I was commenting on last week about not being able to find, you know, my beloved chicken wings, because that's what I was looking for, chicken. And so, you know, what's going on with the Tyson plant uh, in terms of employees who are affected. And so if they're being forced to work because little Tink Tink won there to so-called open up the economy, I'm not really sure how that's going to affect all of us if we've got to eat the meat that these infected people are packaging and sending to us. But anyway, I ran out for just a little bit to go to the grocery store and I'm kind of like a rat. I just run the walls, go get what I need and then scurry back in. So I am, I am, Jean, <laughs> so very happy to not have a traditional Monday through Friday, um, nine to five situation. Um, I think that um, life as we know it is gonna be forever, forever different. Uh, Even once this thing is figured out, once there's a vaccine, uh, once it's contained, uh, it's decreased, whatever the terminology is that you wanna use for it, still I think going forward, things are gonna be very different in terms of how we conduct and comport ourselves. And listen, I'm gonna probably be wearing a mask for the next, I don't know, two years. (laughs) Too much unknown about it. And I just want to try to keep me safe. So you guys do the same and um, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Be good, be safe.